Morning guys, YouTube people. Anyway, uh, good morning. Saturday morning, almost nine o'clock. Um, you can see I got rid of some of the recycling. So what I'm going to do is today I'm gonna do some more logs, some more what I can do for four logs, I guess I should say. Um, branches, whatever you want to call them. I'm trying to keep a pile for like uh, firewood though. For uh, one of my buddies at work. Or that works for the railroad. He's not at my work anymore. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got some these size logs. That branch is going to be logs. I'm gonna, I'll cut all these up into hopefully like 12 inch pieces so they'll fit in his fireplace um but yeah as you can see I got a lot of sawdust I didn't do nothing or I didn't do anything yesterday just sat around went went to the gym in the morning and then pretty much just sat around thinking oh I ended up taking some uh panels off of the 91 Chevy truck some guy wanted to buy some um, but I think what I'm going to do today sometime, if the kid will help me, is I'm going to get the trailer, and I'm going to load it with this Chevy bed. So I'm going to put the Chevy bed on the trailer, and I'm going to take all this scrap metal that I got laying around here, rotors, that junk, fenders, hood, doors, basically, uh, um, yeah, so, uh, just, just some crap that I'm going to take to the scrap yard, load it all up, but yeah, the guy wanted this, uh, back panel and that panel right there, um, this panel's cracked, so it's no good, it was a pain in the butt to get off, um, I'm going to keep the cab just in case I need more stuff, like floor pan stuff, but the bed, I'm going to load the bed on the trailer with all this, the front fenders, hood, everything. Everything's going to the scrapyard. I don't care. I have it up for sale on Craigslist. I actually gave some inner fender wells to a friend or a inner fender well to a friend. And asked him if he needed anything else. He said no. So I don't really care. It's all going to the scrapyard. I got crap here. I got to donate to Goodwill. Um, the wife wants me to help her go through some stuff in her room. Not bedroom, but she's got a little, I guess, a business room. It's just a little extra room we have. Um, got to go through that room, throw a bunch of scrap away. <sighs> just a lot, of, a lot of stuff. And I'm glad, I'm glad I'm on this new schedule. Because I get time off to do this. I also need to get rid of that tree branch, tree right there. Um, I already started taking it off. Basically, I'm trying to clear all the trees around from around the house. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, this little bush, that little George right there, that thing I've ripped out like five times so I'm gonna end up putting some I'm gonna cut it again and put some Epsom salt on it I heard Epsom salt uh, basically kills it dries it up um, so that yeah basically just dries it up so it can't grow anymore um, this I'll probably use in my fire thingy a burner 55 gallon drum and a bunch of other scrap wood I have around. Um, yeah, and I got a bunch of branches right here, drug around with the little tractor. So, but yeah, I'm just waiting until 9 o'clock. I'm going to be picking up a another chainsaw, a 20 inch chainsaw. It's the uh, Hus Husqvarna. It's a Husqvarna uh, Rancher 450. I think it's a 50.2 cc engine. Sorry for the wind if you guys are getting wind. 
Um, but yeah, these, I'm just over it. I'm probably going to buy, I got to find another little uh, plunger dilly bob for that. Hold on. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I was getting a call from the guy for the chainsaw. Um, anyway, apparently he messed up in the ad and I don't know, whatever. Um, still gonna go get it, but he, uh, something about it. One was an 18 inch and one was a 20 inch and he got confused and something, something. So whatever, he's bringing both of them and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyway, so I, I do, like I was saying, I do want to repair this one with that little primer. And uh, once I get the primer fixed, uh, once that's all fixed, I'll put a smaller bar on it. Because I think that's a 16-inch bar, and it's only supposed to have a 14-inch bar. And then I'll keep that one. And then uh, the Husqvarna, I'll either keep around or... Who knows? Do something. My brother-in-law gave that one to me um, a couple years ago. Um, but I have a hard time getting it started. And uh, I'm not a two-stroke guy. So, basically, uh, yeah. I, I can mix fuel and keep stuff running. But once uh, carburetors and stuff get gummed up and uh, the fine-tuning, because you have a high and low, two-strokes are just... A pain in the butt to uh, mess with um, in general so we'll see what happens um, maybe I'll get bored one day and uh, decide to work on it fix it up so anyway that's what I'm doing um, when I get back I'll uh, show you guys the uh, chainsaw I guess I just want to get the yard cleaned up because um, I need to paint the exterior of our house um, I kind of feel embarrassed showing this, but this is what our paint is looking like. It's all just nasty, neglected. Um, and then when we put in the garage door, I had to drop the header, drop the header down. So I'll probably end up replacing, taking this board off and doing instead of a one by four I'll do a one by eight or whatever it turns out being um, but yeah so that's my plan want to get all the trees away from the house because that's what was happening um, with a lot over here is this stupid tree I had right here was rubbing and scratching all this paint so this tree right here and uh, yeah you could just see it's all I'll probably have to replace all these, I don't know what they call it, fascia boards. I don't know what they call it. But anyway. So yeah, that's the whole plan with cleaning up around the yard and everything. Um, plus, we're trying to drop our homeowner's insurance through our uh, mortgage and go through a regular insurance company to try to save, you know, a couple hundred bucks a year. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're trying to do. And, uh, plus, it just needs to get done. So, since I'm getting eight or six days off, or let's say 12 days off a month, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. So, anyway, guys, I'll be back. I'll show you guys this chainsaw. Um, I won't do no product review or nothing because it's used. But, anyway, I right, guess that's it. So, I will be back and show you guys that. Morning guys, so I'll just show you real quick the chainsaw, it's the next morning, <clears throat> here it is, Husqvarna, Husqvarna, it's a Husqvarna 450 Rancher, anyway, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for that video guys, um, watch my next video, I'm going to go over some stuff with it real quick. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that video. You guys, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Um, trying to get videos up, trying to get good content, but I just don't know how to make good content because 
I guess uh, I'm too impatient. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Give me a like. Later, guys.